day, ladies and gents. Welcome to TFI. So, in the wake of the AMD Ryzen CPU benchmark tests being released on my channel, being done on my 23-point stress test, a couple of people piped up and they were like, well, why did you run the HP machine on a Quadro M4000 and the Ryzen machine were the Fibro W9100? Why didn't you use a Quadro M4000 in them both? To which I was like, but I've done a, I've done a video already on how graphics cards I, I've, I've explained this all, but then I thought you know what no it's fair enough J jokes aside fair enough right it was put in a respectful way and I thought it's not going to do any harm let's do it let's put the M4000 into the Ryzen build and run it through the 23 point stress test versus the Ryzen build with the W9100 Fire Pro card in and see what happens. I kind of already know what's going to happen because I've been through this before. I've swapped out graphics cards in the same system and seen how that works out. Just in case anybody needs that extra bit of proof of validation, here we go. We've got two tests coming up. One test is the AMD Ryzen 1700X with the Fire Pro W9100 card and the other bench is the same CPU, same system, same everything just the graphics card swapped out on the Quadro M4000. The tests were done on different days, so ambient temperature in the room is going to be different. There will be some margin of error between the two tests, but apart from that, clock frequencies are the same, memory overclock is the same, the Windows operating system is the same, everything else is the same, it's just the GPU that's different, so I'll see you on the other side of the results. So there we go. So this is just a quick video, just a quick summary. Uh, it's come of no surprise to me anyway, because I've already been through this. I've already swapped out all the graphics cards in one system and found no difference whatsoever in the visual performance results. And that was that was shown in this test as well. Putting the Quadro M4000 in over and above the uh, Fire Pro W9100 yielded zero visual differences in terms of FPS being output to the screen. There were some differences between some of the tests, but none of those tests had anything to do with GPU. They were just 
margin of error, gen genuinely genuine margin of error, because the majority of these tests are CPU weighted. Who knows, something could have kicked up in the background which pulled a bit of CPU resource away. It could be even as much as ambient temperature in the room between the two different tests could have had an impact on that. Just look at the Cinebench result at the end. The most recent test that I did yielded a, a quite higher Cinebench result actually than the first test, but it's the same CPU at the same frequency. So ambient temperature could have caused that. And also look at the ray tracing results. That is 100%. It's the CPU. There is no GPU acceleration in ray tracing. And in this test, it was slightly, it finished slightly quicker. All the other tests, two seconds here, four seconds there, complete margin of error. A background task could have fired up during these tests which pulled a bit of CPU resource away in a couple of the tests, who knows? But what I can categorically say with confidence is that the GPU had no influence whatsoever on any of these tests. Putting a Quadro M4000 in or a Fire Pro W9100 makes no difference whatsoever. Same results, same scores, same times, same performance. So with that, I shall leave you to it. And thank you for watching my Ryzen test with the Quadro M4000 compared up against the Ryzen with the Fire Pro W9100. And stick around if you want to see some more tests like this. I have tons of them coming up. I've got a lot of hardware coming through uh, and something absolutely pretty spectacular as well on the horizon. Hopefully that should come to fruition. Stick around for that. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.